Um, Cameron, how do you sum that up? Uh, pretty disappointing, but um, yeah, it was one of those games where the harder we tried, the worse it got. Um, things just snowballed. I thought we, we started off with a lot of energy and stuck to the plan at the start, but just some seven tackle sets gave them more possession, put us on the back foot. And any time they come down our end of the field, they just capitalised and um, yeah, just had a lot of tries down that right edge. And um, yeah, very tough day. But you know, there'll be some lessons in there for the, for the whole team, but young guys in particular. But you know, it's really important we stick together and learn those lessons and be better next week. I mean, 66 nil. Fans were booing when the players were coming off at halftime. Does it feel like a rock bottom moment? Oh. I I don't know, we're at rock bottom. It's not a great moment. It's 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 an embarrassing moment. It's a disappointing moment. It's it's not what you want. Um, we knew things would be hard at different times this year, but probably not this hard. Um, but it is what it is. Um, you know, clubs go through these times, teams go through these times, and it shows your real character. So that's what I'm interested in right now is the character of our team, the character of our club, um, the character of individuals within that team and club. You've threatened to make changes before. Is it time to pull the trigger? Oh, we've made changes every week. It's not, it's not changes that's going to fix this. It's, this is a, a, a cultural thing that's happened for years and years now that um, the habit of losing, obviously today is worse than, worse than most weeks, but we want to change the culture of the place and we've got to do that from the ground up. We're not going to look for short-term fixes or, or changes that might you know, get us a little result next week. Like we, we want to change the culture of the club. We want to turn into a winning culture. Um, and we're starting to do that. We're not seeing the results of it on the weekend right now. Um, but the way they train, the way they prepare is changing uh, for the better. Um, and it will turn soon. It'll turn. Reid, did you um, hear the fans booing when you came off at half time? Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, I, I guess they. Um, they're, up, they're upset and they're frustrated, um, but I guess so, so are we. We're the ones out there working really hard. Um, yeah, I guess it's we don't want that to happen. It's from my point. We want them to be behind us. Um, we, we know, you know, the results that we're trying to get, and we're, and we're working hard. And as Cam said, what we're doing during the week um, just isn't. Um, turning up on game day and it's frustrating but you know, the, the fans oh, I feel like probably don't have the right to do that well they, they do in a way but you know we're, we're working extremely hard and as Cam said it's it's not easy at the moment we're, we're trying really hard and yeah, it's frustrating and, and you know I'll support my players and, and this club um, you know, yeah, as they say yeah it's it's hard but we just got to move on and and try keep working hard like we are, and um, yeah, we just need our we need our members and our fans to get behind us because uh, yeah, we're working really hard. We just didn't get the result today. The thing I love about this club is how passionate the fans are. Like you've, we, we've we've seen it. Uh, I've only been here six eight months, but I've seen it. I've felt it. Um, I can understand it. And what, the other thing I love is there's an expectation of winning. You don't get that at every club. Like this club expects to win. It's um, there's a lot of history around winning and and. The club, club and fans expect it, and that's that's the exciting thing about it. Um, but you can't just flick a switch and, and turn into a winning club and a winning culture. So we are building it from the ground up, and you know those the, the, the players have got an actual you know, really strong purpose about about the way they play and represent the fans. And um, today was disappointing because we didn't we didn't live up to that. But um, we've got to flush that as quick as we can. And we've got to make sure we do better next week. What's your message to those fans, Cam? The ones who got up and left at half time, the ones who booed the players at half time, booed them throughout. What's the message to them? What, what, how can you give them hope? Well, the, the, hope yeah, the message to the players is we've got to stick together. And that's the same message for anyone that supports this club or within the club as well. This is, today's hard. Today's like day, days like today are hard, but the only way you can do it is stick together. We're going to turn this club around. Um, we're going to do it from the ground up. We're not going to go looking for short term fixes to do it. We're going to build it from the ground up. And one day we'll look back at today as, as a sort of, whether it's a rock bottom moment or a line in the sand or, you know, whatever. But if you stick with us, there'll be good times ahead. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I know where we're going and I know how we're going to get there. And when we get there, days like this will make it all the more uh, reason to enjoy it. You spoke about a winning culture before and the fact that this club's become almost used to losing. Is that, is that 
job bigger than you thought it was? Is that condition worse than you thought it was? Um, that's a good question. Yeah. Yeah, no. You, you, it's, it's hard to have expectations looking from the outside in or waiting to go somewhere. Um, I didn't know really what it was going to be like. And, um, you know, sometimes you can perform OK, but it sort of covers up what's going on underneath. And I think the last few weeks or the last few months have, you know, have uncovered what's, what's going on and what we need to change. And, um, you know, there's some, some habits of losing teams that um, are probably there and we need to address that. And that's not X's and O's. It's not, it's not game plans or strategy and structure. That's actual culture of how you, how you go about your work day in, day out. Um, and that's what we're trying to fix. Um, I think we've taken some steps forward, but that didn't come out on game day today, which which is disappointing. But I know that we're fixing things behind the scenes and, and behind the scenes and building a foundation that we can build off in the future. Reid, well, you're used to winning, right? You've been in clubs that have won for a long time. When you have go through what you went through today, where, as Darcy said, they're, they're booing you off the field. Like, what, how does that make you feel? I've been here before. My first start of my career. Um, 2018, I was exactly the same. Um, it hurts, but as the last few years, I know where sometimes you got to go through these things to get to where you want to go. Um, yeah, we're, uh, we're working really hard. We know what we know what it looks like. Should we just not get the results um, on the field? And you know, we've got a, a lot of young boys. A um, handful of boys that have not even played 10 first grade games and uh, footy's a lesson. You learn every week. Um, you know, you can't expect a, a halfback that's played five games to go out there and, and be John of the first straight away. Uh, it takes time. Um, it takes years to, to build craft and that's for, for all of us. We're all still learning. We want to be the best. Um, but yeah, I, I've been there before and uh, it's, it's not easy. It's a hard road and we're willing to take that. Road. That's that's the road we're on, and um, for for the players and the fans, if you don't want to be on the hard road, then uh, hop off the bus because um, you know we're going in the right direction. It's really willing to um, take the tough road and and really uh, you know enjoy the enjoy the time together, but work really hard. And um, yeah, it's it's not easy, but I know where we're going. Cameron, what did you make of your players? effort and desire because you didn't seem to be too critical of that a few minutes ago yeah I didn't think I actually saw more effort today than I did last last time we played against Cronulla I, I sort of I saw lack of effort that day I saw a lack of connection today today was like the snowball effect of possession and things going against us and lack of confidence and I saw that more than I saw a lack of effort there were some guys out there trying really hard um, and things as I said before, the harder they tried, the worse it got. Um, and you, you get days like that sometimes. But, you know, we tried really hard, especially at the start of the game. We put a lot of effort into that. And then just for them to go down the other end of the field and capitalise on every opportunity they got really hurt us and, and, and really dented our confidence. 66-0, though, can the full... How... how if it's 66-0, how, how committed were they to the cause? 66-0. Well, I think they, yeah, some things went wrong, wrong for us, but it wasn't, it was, if you, maybe the lack of, the effort was in the wrong areas at different times, but, you know, if you, yeah, it's easy to say there was a lack of effort when it was 66-0, but I was seeing different things out there more than a lack of effort at different times. There were some guys getting some things wrong, um, which was, you know, the Knights, the Knights were asking a lot of questions and they, were, they did a really good job and we were getting some things wrong. But it wasn't all down to a lack of effort. It, our effort at times was good. Um, does it need to be better? Yeah, it needs to be better. All right, but there's a lot of things that need to be better in our game and it's not just down to effort. Some guys are out there trying. They're learning, they're learning on the job right now. Um, you know, maybe there's a few, a few too many learning on the job right now and we go, oh, that's my job to, to figure out if that's the case. But there wasn't a total lack of effort out there today. Cam, despite the scoreline before the game, you said you wanted them to play as a team rather than individuals. Did you see a little bit more of that today than the Sharks two weeks ago? Yeah, I did at times, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I definitely saw some connection there at times, more than what I saw two weeks ago. Um, 
but then you know with the when the score got to 18-0, you know that we saw the confidence sort of deteriorate and um, probably that connection just dissipate a little bit. But um, there was actually yeah some more, some signs there of more team connection than there was against the Sharks. Does there need to be more? 100%. Okay, Matt and Josh from the mix, obviously, but Origin before today. Do you hope that that doesn't affect their chances of being that New South Wales side? Yeah, I was not even thinking anything about Origin right now. I just want to make sure these guys are all right in there and they're getting their heads ready for next week. Well, talking about next week, um, obviously with Origin, Matt and Josh potentially couldn't be in the team, but how do you prepare against, the, I think you play the Rabbitohs? Yeah, that's, that's next week. I've got to make sure these guys are, are OK right now. That's, today's a tough day. When you lose like that, it hurts. It hurts a team, it hurts individuals. Um, I've just got to make sure they're OK. You know, that, was, that was hard out there today. We're looking after them as people first and we'll worry about South tomorrow.